What's up everybody? Um, welcome to today's video. Um, by the title, I think you already know, we're gonna build our sim rig today. Um, it's actually gonna be pretty much a budget build. Um, I spent a lot of money on like the computer, the sim parts and the monitors, and I kind of like, I don't know, kind of figured it out to where I could get the best bang for my buck. So I spent money where I needed to and kind of skipped some things I didn't need to, like the chassis, for example. The chassis we're gonna build today, I'm actually gonna be using wood. I know that sounds kind of silly, um, kind of cheap, but in reality, the rigs that I was wanting, like the aluminum profile rigs, you're talking probably twelve to fifteen hundred dollars um, with the seat. Some of them were a thousand bucks or so without the seat, and that to me was way too much money for um, a profile rig. You know, it's like um, you know you spend a thousand dollars on a frame and a seat. And then you still gotta spend another three to four hundred dollars for the triple monitors, um, the triple monitor um, stand anyway, because um, most of them are freestanding. There's only like one or two rigs that I could find that had the triple monitor option that was bolt on. So um, the pros about wood is we're gonna be able to do just about anything we want. We can build this rig out how we feel, how we want um, our seat to sit and everything, and um, we can get real comfortable with it. And then on top of that. Um, it's versatile so we can add anything to it we want. All it takes is a couple screws, you know, stick a two by four on there, a couple screws. Um, we can paint this thing, make it look somewhat nice. Uh, I think um, it doesn't really matter. Wood's kind of abrasive, it's kind of bulky. The aluminum profile rig would have been way easier because this is probably going upstairs. So the, you know, I would have been able to build it upstairs. Um, here, I'm gonna have to cut wood screw it and everything so i might have to um assemble it in sections and take it upstairs and then finally screw it all together don't know how it's going to work out yet um but we're just going to kind of dive into it and go at it um i may do another once we get it all built i'll do another video and kind of break down the parts we bought and all that good stuff so anyway i'm not going off any plans or anything i kind of have an idea in my head what i want I've been studying these rigs for, I don't know, maybe a couple months now. And um, I just went and bought a bunch of wood. I got some two by fours, I got some plywood, I got some, um, what is that, MDF, particle board. And we're gonna kinda just go at it. I got my seat, we'll set my seat down and we'll kind of just build it from ground up, you know, get the seat secure, get all that feeling good. Then we will get our steering wheel mounted get that angle feeling good, get our shifter and stuff mounted, get that feeling good. And then once everything is solid, then we can start working on the monitor mounts. Monitor mounts gonna be a lot more difficult because I don't know if I need to buy some of those Versa mounts that go, or Vesa mounts that go on the back of the monitors. I've seen some people use plywood, to kind of make little mounts so you can mount them to two by four. I'm not entirely sure on how that's gonna go yet. Um, so I'll probably just keep it simple. I'll probably do a time lapse of me just in here building it out and then maybe I'll do a voiceover or something and kind of explain some of the things that I am doing. Um, I might stop the video every once in a while and come in and say some stuff but for the most part um, this is just going to be like an overall I'm going to slap this rig together and then the next video we'll talk about like individual parts what I bought why I bought it and all that good stuff so um, let's dive into it. <laughs>
cut the time lapse for a second quick update chest is done um seats mounted shifters mounted wheels mounted pedals are mounted um i think the pedals are a touch crooked um but i really don't have a way to fix it because how i had to um, use these screws to mount it instead of the bolt kit um i can't really i mean i'm, I'm talking it's minute like i mean just a minute tweak like the only way I know it's crooked is the 
throttle pedal, I can feel that I can press that all the way down, but the clutch pedal, it takes like a little bit more effort. Um, so I don't know, maybe the seat might be a twitch crooked too, but it's nothing major. It's just me being weird and I notice little things like that. But man, dude, like I have like maybe 60 bucks in wood and screws to do this. Um, way better than spending a thousand dollars just on a chassis, you know? I made this literally to myself, how I, how I like to drive. I literally built this thing as compact as I could because um, wood is very bulky, um, but I made it as small as I could. I mounted my shifter just how like my Z kind of is. My shifter's here, e-brakes up here just a touch. So for the most part, um, this thing's ready to rock. Uh, I know it don't look like much, but once we get the monitors and stuff in here, you'll never even know that this is wood. Um, I think it'll just all blend in together because my monitor is going to be, you know, right here. And I'm going to have two there, so I have three monitors. And they're going to be, you know, right up on the deal here. So anyway, that's a quick update. Um, I really kind of want to cut the video now and just make a whole separate video for the monitor mounts. But I'm getting really tired. I'm running out of time. I'd like to play this, play on some of this this weekend, and I'm running out of weekend. This is the second day I've been working on this. I probably got about six or seven hours in building this. Um, it's really easy. It's just very time consuming. So, um, you know, just doing all the measurements and, you know, put the seat here and try it out. Put the steering wheel here, try it out. Put the shifter there, try it out. Put the pillows here, try it out. You know, and it's like you're cutting everything to measurement and you got to retry it. So. Anyway, um, I probably should just, I probably should just cut another time lapse and go ahead and build the monitor stand and just call it all one video. Um, and then maybe we'll do a breakdown video of, um, you know, what I got here, the components I got here and all that good stuff. So, all right, let's get back to it. <laughs> guys i got a lot of time wrapped up in this um i'm just i'm about done for the day uh i got this is over two days now i think i don't remember i don't know i got some time wrapped up in this it's done i just got to paint the monitor and then get it all upstairs clean it all up and get it all up there but paint this monitor stands only thing i got left to do uh man it's just really kind of been this has been very involved um i hope hope everything comes together um I tried my best mounting these mounts. These are, these were just not the easiest thing in the world to make. And they seem pretty sturdy, but I, I don't know. Wouldn't put any more than a monitor on them. But yeah, I'm probably just going to cut the video. My GoPro died. So the time-lapse footage stopped way short of this. So you guys didn't kind of see any of this process. But it's been involved, at say the least. So I'm going to just slide this thing out the door and paint it real quick and then i'm taking a shower and i'm calling it calling it a day peace peace that way peace later